Burglars steal two valuable tanks from Irish farm containing bull semen. Uh, there are so many valuable things you could steal in this world. There's money, gold, jewelry, high-tech gadgets, even mere information can fetch ridiculous prices when sold to the right person. But uh, none of those things were good enough for the Irish thieves from our story. They wanted something completely different. They stole bull semen. Two tanks containing the frozen cattle emissions recently disappeared from a farm in Northern Ireland. Needless to say, the theft has baffled the local farming community. There are a lot of things on the farm that would be easier to steal than bull semen and can still fetch a decent price on the black market. Additionally, the semen tanks aren't particularly easy to handle. So unless the thieves know what they're doing, they may uh, easily render their price uh, sterile thing, in which case we really, really don't want to know anything more about it. Uh, the theft happened at a farm in Cloger uh, County, Tyrone, some 50 miles from Belfast. Two tanks containing doses or straws, as they're called, of bull semen disappeared from an outbuilding in which they were stored. No one's quite sure at the time when exactly the burglary happened, as the storage facility isn't under any kind of active surveillance. It makes sense, though, since uh, who in their right mind would want to steal male bull goo? According to the BBC, uh, the local police believe uh, the theft took place between October 21st and October 23rd. That's quite a large window, but at least the cops have something to work on. Now, it's not like the semen tanks are completely worthless. They can have significant value, as the police put it. Depending on the breed and other characteristics of the bull that produced the goods, a straw of semen can sell for a high price. For example, example semen from uh, one now-deceased prize-winning uh, Ch Charolais bull sells for around $600 a pop. The liquid nitrogen tanks in which the semen is stored can be valuable in, the, uh, in themselves, too. A brand new tank can cost nearly $2,500, but it's unlikely the thieves will get anything near that by selling uh, the stolen tanks. It's the semen that's the valuable thing here. But the thieves better know what they're doing or they'll quickly uh, ruin their loot. The tanks they stole are small enough that they can be transported in the backseat of a regular car. That's easier said than done, however, as vibration can easily shake their lids off. After that, I like the idea of these thieves, like, stealing this, and then they hit a bump, and it's just, like, bull oh. semen all over their car. <laughs> uh, second, the liquid nitrogen is not something you want splashing around your car. Additionally, the, the, yeah. the tanks need to be constantly topped up with new liquid nitrogen to keep them functional. With all that said, other local farmers have no idea why the thieves decided to go after the semen. There's so many other things on farms that would have been easier to steal and resell. The burglars could have stolen tools, ATVs, or even the bulls themselves, and it would have been simpler on them. I don't know. To me, I mean, I guess you have the ticking clock of maybe the semen getting too hot and then being worthless if you don't get it to a freezer in time. But it yeah. still seems easier than actually stealing the bulls themselves. That seems like a harder thing to steal. Look, man, <clears throat> I don't rule out the sexual side of this. <laughs> uh, there's too many stories of people getting by animals from animals. Like, and it's everywhere. Like, <sighs> it does seem and, to be more, more prevalent than you'd want. Yeah, like you hear about donkey shows. You hear about everything. like this. It's. We have we first of all, humans are the grossest creatures on this planet, man. For humans sure. are by far the nastiest creatures. Ugh. But I could definitely see somebody like filling up their tub and jumping in <laughs> or something <laughs> like that. And then he, after that they're gonna eat a, a granny poop sandwich. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> oh my gosh. I if anything this podcast has done for you is it's lowered your expectations of humanity. That's true. <laughs> In a way, it almost, uh, you know, watching our and listening to our podcast should make you feel better about yourself. You can be like, hey, there are yeah. people worse than me, objectively <laughs> worse sure. than me. <laughs> For sure, yeah. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, I could definitely see somebody um, drinking this stuff, you know, lathering up in this, whatever, putting it on their face as a moisturizer, as a cream, yeah. And also, who knows? Maybe their plan worked. Maybe they sold it and got money out of it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's could have been valuable stuff. 
it wouldn't surprise me if they found out it was like an inside job because like how many people would have known it was there i i would think like this the best thing would be like a fellow farmer you know somebody who like knows what they're doing you know because otherwise you're wasting all this stuff anyway you know like you're reducing the value by a lot with whatever mistakes you make with it so in a weird way i hope somebody knows what they're doing <laughs> <laughs> that's the other thing the person who who would buy like the stolen bull semen yeah you would think it's probably a farmer who knew what it was worth you know yeah um so I, i'm surprised the cops like couldn't track track down but then again like if 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 this particular batch of semen was like you know really worth a lot of money you would have thought that building would have been under surveillance had security cameras and stuff and it didn't so i don't know that's true yeah maybe it was insured who knows oh they stole the bull semen for the insurance money <laughs> yeah <laughs> could be you never know about these things <laughs> Now I just sure, want to sure anything. <laughs> now I just want to make like a Fargo like comedy of errors like uh, thing where like some guys like, like I said do like steal <laughs> they steal like gallons of bull semen and then it's it, like, like tips, all over <laughs> them and everything. <laughs> and there's like liquid nitrogen like coming out of the car windows and just like <laughs> semen like all over their car. There's a trail. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the cops like are following a semen trail. <laughs> <laughs> I think something oh, could like, be done with that. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs>